Hello, I'm Chris Vine, author of the Peters Railway series of books, and we're at the Isle of Wight Steam Railway today on a young engineer's day out, and it's a wonderful day. We've got a beautiful engine. We've actually got a private train for the young engineers, and we're just about to leave to go down the line, and I'm very lucky. I'm riding in the cab, and I'm going to film a little bit of what happens in a, in a steam locomotive cab while driving along. Coupling up the coupling between the engine and the carriage. The driver has been given the token that gives him permission to go on the line. And I'm going to step up onto the footplate. So we have the driver here. Hello. And the driver has two main controls. One is the regulator valve, which is here. Another control he has is right over in the far side down there is his reverser, which controls whether the, the pistons push the engine forwards or backwards. This is important here. This is the token that gives the driver permission to be on the single line railway. I'm going to stand out right over here. So the farmer has just started the injector to feed water into the boiler. So it makes quite a noise. So that's the injector steam valve. And it's feeding water from the water bunker into the boiler. And here, I don't know if you can hear me talking, it's quite noisy here now. You can see the water level in the water gauge. And you can see as you look through the stripes behind the water gauge, where the water is, it turns the stripes in the other direction. So you can't make a mistake and think it's more full or more empty than it really is. Very important. We don't have a boiler explosion today. Here we've got some, some other gauges. We've got that's the main boiler pressure gauge, 190 psi, 190 pounds per square inch. When we blew a balloon up, it was about a half a pound per square inch. So it's an enormous pressure in here. And this gauge here, this is showing the pressure that's in the cylinders actually doing the work. So at the moment it's zero because the regulator's shut. And as the as the driver opens the regulator to make the engine start to work harder, you will see that gauge start to go up. Right, here we go. Driver Steve has put the engine in Ford's gear with the lever down there. Now he has his hand on the regulator. So let's... There's a little bit of pressure coming up into the, into the steam chest now in the cylinders. Just a tiny bit, a bit more. The driver keeps opening the regulator a bit more and finally it'll have enough to move the train. Just a tiny drop of steam just to get us moving. So now we're looking into the firebox. It's calmed down a bit. Every chuff from the engine lifts the fire to make more steam. You have to see that happening. You can hear the chuffs and each chuff draws the air through the fire and the fire through the tubes. You can't see the tubes. What you, look, what you think you can see is actually the, the nuts on the back of the firebox. They look like holes, but that's actually the nuts on the back of the firebox. And now he's using the reverser to notch up or link up to use a bit less steam once we get moving. Steam's very expensive. The water's cheap, but the coal used to make the steam from the water is very expensive. So although we're using all that steam to operate the engine, the boiler is making enough steam to keep pace with it. So the boiler pressure has stayed at almost exactly the same because the draft through the the draft through the fire caused by the exhaust steam going up the chimney is making enough heat to replace the steam we've been using. But down here you can see the steam chest pressure. That's dropped back to about 50 now. The engine's not working terribly hard. view out of, the, out of the spectacle plate or the front window of a steam engine is the boiler. When you're going around the track to the right hand side like this, standing on the right hand side of the engine, you get quite a good view of the track. In a moment we'll probably go around a left hand bend and you'll see that you really can't see anything at all because the boiler gets in the way. Nice bit of straight track coming up here.
out over the side. looking over here we've got the water gauge you can see the water level in the water is bouncing about it because the engine's moving and you can see how the water changes the direction of the stripe so you can make no mistake as to whether it's absolutely full or absolutely empty now from this side the track is curving away to the right and you get a really nice view up the line in a moment we'll be going around a left hand bend and from this side the farmer will have almost no view at all because the boiler gets in the way. So then the driver's keeping a look at it. The two of them act as a team to check the line is clear. And we're coming to a, a level crossing. So I think the driver... I think the driver did too. I didn't need to tell you that. That's just to alert anybody who's thinking of using the level crossing. steam coming out of the chimney is the exhaust steam that's done the work in the cylinders. There's another level crossing coming up. has been almost completely shut and we're coasting. The driver's got his hand on the brake now. That's clearly a vital part of the controls. It's the brake off now. We're coasting again. People watching the train go beside the line. Wave to them in the train. Thank you, Steve. That's great. We'll sign off. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Andy. Right. Bye for now.